Tuck, Duke, frequently lumped together and not just because they have four letters in their names and two of them in common. You can find both in beautiful places with smaller class sizes and great team atmospheres. You could even go so far in saying that another four letter word comes to mind when talking about each school, team. These students are not just committed to their programs, but also to each other. There are all sorts of dimensions on which you can compare one school to the next. Location, class size, curriculum, pedagogy, ranking, and more. Nevertheless, there are a few schools that feel more alike than different, and one example of this is Duke and Tuck. Dartmouth Tuck is all about making connections, student to student, student to faculty, and student to alumni. As a small school distant from a big city, this feeling of connection begins right as students get to Hanover, New Hampshire, where many choose to live, often together in university housing, within a five minute walk to campus. This also means that your classmates are gonna be your neighbors and your friends, so be ready for a level of intimacy and support that you don't find at many other schools. Many schools, that is, except for Duke Fuqua. One of the core principles of Duke is the notion of Team Fuqua. Though hard to define exactly, Dean Bill Bolding describes Team Fuqua as the instinct to draw out strengths in others to move a team forward toward a common goal. For both schools, their common goals are unsurprisingly similar. For Tuck, it means to develop wise, decisive leaders who better the world through business. While well, Duke communicates that same notion by helping students grow into leaders who are equipped to not just change the business world, but who are ready to make an impact on the world itself. How they work to reach these goals are slightly different in terms of what happens in the classroom. Dartmouth Tuck is known for its rather rigid core curriculum that comprises the entire first year. During this time, Tuck students receive a broad-based general management education that includes required courses such as accounting, communications, and economics. Generally, first years take few electives and instead lean in to fundamental business courses. While Duke also has a first year core curriculum, it is much more flexible and first years take electives much sooner so they can begin to fine tune their education to best fit their career aspirations. With regard to career aspirations, for Tuck that generally means consulting with nearly half the class heading to Bain, McKinsey, BCG, Deloitte, EY. In fact, Tuck sends more of its graduates to consulting than practically any other school. While consulting is a big draw for Duke graduates, with similar firms recruiting there, it just doesn't draw quite so many. In fact, where Duke students stand out in terms of employment is healthcare, where a growing percentage of Team Fuqua lands. Part of this is the commitment Duke has made to the healthcare sector generally. For example, Duke offers a health sector management certificate for students that want to specialize in this industry. If one then factors in the huge healthcare industry in the region, including a slew of big pharmaceutical companies and the Duke Medical Center, students are well positioned to make healthcare their home. In fairness, Tuck does have a strong and growing focus on healthcare. The Center for Healthcare serves as the hub for healthcare at Tuck. Beyond courses such as entrepreneurship and healthcare services and technology and structure, organization and economics of the healthcare industry, Tuck hosts numerous healthcare focused events and speakers. Recent events have included bringing in top healthcare venture capitalists to discuss healthcare AI from an investor's perspective. Leading many of these initiatives are the Healthcare Fellows, approximately 20 students annually that are intent on making healthcare their career. These students become the healthcare ambassadors for Tuck, doing anything from organizing events, conducting research, to working to increase Tuck's footprint in the industry. Where one really sees Tuck and Duke diverging is in the number of students entering tech. Whether it's because Tim Cook, Apple CEO, graduated from Fuqua in 1988, or the area around Fuqua, Research Triangle Park, is exploding with tech firms, about one quarter of Duke MBAs find their way into companies like Amazon, Cisco, and Google. This number is only gonna increase over the next decade with Apple committing to adding an additional 3,000 jobs at its new campus being built just a few miles from the school. Yes, there are some advantages to having an alumnus being the CEO of one of the biggest tech companies in the world. A final point, though Dartmouth Tuck and Duke Fuqua are both in college towns, that's not quite the full picture. Yes, Dartmouth University has about 6,700 students, but the surrounding communities bring its local population to only about 20,000. Conversely, Duke University has about 17,000 students, but it's smashed 
smack dab in the middle of a metropolitan area and some 1.6 million people. Duke is only a half hour away from a good sized airport, while it takes, as one of our consultants likes to say, two donkeys and a mule to reach Tuck. That may not be totally fair, Tuck is only two hours from Boston. Still, when you choose to go small with Tuck, remember you're also going a little further away. There are likely another half dozen ways to compare Tuck and Duke, and at MBA Mission, we do this through our insider's guides, where you can find more details about these schools and 14 others. No matter what, it's important to remember that both schools have a reputation for having strong cultures, tight-knit communities, and students committed to each other as they look to transform companies and the world.